Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here for the last StarMade station review for the Trading Guild station submissions. This is the Solar Collector by Zeo, and I must tell you I have made a massive error in judgment. And this is why you should always take the time to actually explore ships and stations before you make a judgment call on them based on the images provided online because I'm going to tell you right now, Based on the image that I saw in the the uh, the forum poll, I wasn't really happy with how the station was going to look, and I figured that you know I wasn't going to enjoy it as much. And it turns out it has some of the craziest detail work I have ever seen on the inside. This thing has some crazy machinery going on, and I cannot wait to look at it. So we're going to come in here into this hangar. We're going to dock. We're going to take a look at the externals. The internals. Uh, I cannot dock. Whatever. Uh, and then uh, we'll be done with the trading guild submissions. So let's get out of here. And I must say, the reason that I judged this beforehand was because uh, this blue hull. It's quite plain. It's not broken up except for this one yellow band on each of the corners. And it definitely needs more than that. You know, the builder is quite clearly capable that they can put in a lot of awesome detail, and I'm I'm surprised that they've opted to go with this quite plain hull. The blue is just a little bit overwhelming, especially considering what they've managed to pull off on the inside, and then that's what surprises me, is that they've got the opportunity here to put in some amazing details, and they haven't. And uh, I don't know if there's a specific reason for that or what, but again, it definitely would pay off to get some more go stuff going on over there. It got a massive amount of shield rechargers and uh, other things going on. Wow, this is a freaking huge wall. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we don't care about the stats. We care about the design. So this is a solar collector, which means it collects uh, a solar energy from the stars that it surrounds. And uh, it transfers it into a massive capacitor array, of which this is what I am assuming that is. I'm assuming this is the capacitor uh, tanks, you know, the capacitor array connected to the solar thingy. My god, this is nuts. I'm, I'm wondering why they chose to use green instead of blue for the solar panel collectors, because I figure, you know, a solar collection array would be using blue to uh, reflect the, you know, reference the idea of a solar panel type of design. So we've entered the hangar. We've got some interesting details going on down here. It kind of looks like some sort of vat, but it, I'm not sure if that's really what it is. It could be, but I don't think so. You know, it's got these little connection bits. I'm actually kind of digging that little thing right there. As simple as it is, it's really nice. Uh, I kind of wish there was more going on on this wall here. With that being said, the truss work and the, uh, the rail type of thing that they've got going on down the middle is pretty neat. I'm not sure if this block is supposed to be here. <laughs> Just putting that out there. There's a gravity module, so let's uh, pretend we've gone in. Deck A, crew, deck B, processing. There's random build block. So this is processing. Let's uh, explore this. I'm going to give this video a little bit more attention because it is the last trade station video. And I definitely want to explore this out. So we've got some computer terminals here and you know some workstations uh, for the uh, management of this plant. And look at this, guys. Look at this interior. Holy shit, this thing is scary. I feel like this guy has literally designed this. You know what? If anyone has ever played the old game Area 51, this immediately just reminded me of that because there were interiors of that game that were just massive, expansive areas. You were exploring Area 51, right? The secret underground alien base in the Nevada, uh, right? Uh, controlled by the US government, you know, the Illuminati, that kind of crap. And this feels like something out of that. You know, I have never played Half-Life, but I'm pretty sure that something similar appears in uh, Black Mesa. Or maybe even Portal. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, and they've used the, um, the hazard stripes to give the impression that there's some sort of almost like a screwdriver head sticking out of the top of that, you know, you could fit a massive 
uh, flathead screwdriver into the middle of that, right? And that's just a trick of the eyes. That I honestly thought that there was some sort of wedging magic going on down here to give it that sort of look, and they've actually used the texture to their advantage. Holy shit, guys. That is genius. Oh my god, it actually makes them look like they've got this little cap on the top. And they really don't. It's a flat structure. It's just a texture. My god, this thing is massive, immense. I am totally digging it. This is one hell of a structure. The yellow and the black. Paying off big time. Alright. So let's check out some more of this. Uh, for the most part, this is all the same. Let's go in the middle here. I think this is the faction module. The build block. Undetonator. Built by Zeo. Very nice. And uh, I believe we would have the same structure over here. So let's continue up the elevator to the crew areas. Right. Crew facilities, medical, crew quarters, mess hall, and crew quarters. Alright, so we've got a very, uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say it's detailed, but it is intricate <laughs> feeling, you know? Very industrial. Uh, maybe that's what I should have said. Medical bay, right? Ooh, they've used the red glass. Instead of another colored glass, they've got blue glass on this side, which is a bit of a contrast. Look at that. Red versus blue. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. I'm digging these little, you know, medical areas. I would like to say that I, I definitely prefer to have the undetonators in the medical areas, but, you know, if there's a reason why it's in the uh, central section, I totally get it. So yeah, this is the medical s section of the uh, station. Moving on forward, we've got, uh, apparently crew areas up here. Individual rooms, I thought they were going to be laid out in a uh, uh, big bunk fashion, but each of these rooms has a very massive, nice, lovely window. Just look at this. Those massive pillars on top, this is quite the view. God damn. <clears throat> and I believe all these rooms are the same, pretty much. They've all got a desk, a bed, and some cabinets here. Ooh, this is a bit different. Ah, we have a bathroom. Peeking in the stall. A shower. One shower. Two showers. Bit, uh, bit of a wait time on getting into the uh, showers, I bet come down here and we have a uh, mess hall very nice we've got uh, the, you know the grills on the, uh, the uh, areas over here for the cooking the stove a little vent Wow sink I'm assuming food storage would be back here some sort of freezer okay okay uh, real quick let's go check and uh, see if there's uh, similar stuff on the other side, I think there is. Yep. Although this looks different. What is this? Brig and security. Nice. Okay, this is uh, something I actually haven't seen on another station so far. Uh, this and mine being the only stations I've seen that have jail cells. Observation storage. Is that what that said? Observation storage. Okay, I guess there's storage. <laughs> Uh, interview room. Ooh, red lights. Ominous. You don't want to be found, uh, in there. Caught in there. Uh, or having to deal with anything in there. Another medical bay. I feel like they could have taken the opportunity to differentiate this room from the other side a bit. But that's okay. Going up. We have all of, uh, the crew quarters there as well. So, my god. Massive amounts of work had to be done to put all this into place. That is just nuts. Uh, you know what that reminds me of? If any of you have seen The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with all those, like, pylons, right? I feel like Spider-Man should be swinging through this. Not to say that, you know, <laughs> we want to uh, grace this station with Spider-Man's presence, but that's just <laughs> something it reminded me of, but... Good lord! These structures! This... This is an amazing internal structure. It's a really cool concept. Holy shit, 10 out of 10 on effectiveness, because goddamn, this is some of the coolest internal machinery design I have ever seen. Not gonna lie, guys. I don't want to feel biased, but, you know, it, it pays off what this, this builder has done with this internal design. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. I'm really digging it. 
So, um, internal design is like a 10 out of 10. I cannot argue with that. There's a few areas that I want spruced up. I don't even care about them. The rest of the station makes up for it. External design. It's like a 7 out of 10. And I hate to give it that. I mean, there's not a lot of external stuff going on. But, you know, this big blue paneling needs to get taken care of. And then, it's like a perfect score. Overall, this is a, an amazing station. This is the last Trading Guild station review that I'll be doing. Next up is the uh, Pirate Station submissions, which are the stations that I've wanted to get to. After that will be the Abandoned Stations, which are my favorite type of stations and uh, the ones that I'm definitely looking forward to. So, goddamn Zio, you did a great job. That was the Solar Collector by Zio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Leave your feedback down below. And I will see you for the first Pirate Station video coming soon.